So, a little review. First, DNA is like a blueprint for a building, okay? It doesn't build the building, it tells you how to build the building. That's what DNA is. It tells you how to build proteins. The proteins are being coded for, okay? So, you have a blueprint, it's a good blueprint, great. If you have a change in that blueprint, you're gonna have a problem, potential problem with the, with the building that's being produced. Now, something you probably didn't know about in, uh, if you only took high school biology, is the structure of DNA also changes. So, if you remember, you get one chromosome from mom and one chromosome from dad, right? So here's the, you get one of each from them, and we used to think that only in rare situations that there are these big changes where you have an extra piece that may include many different genes. If so, our understanding of genetics has changed over the last 10, 15, 20 years. We used to think one gene, one disorder, cystic fibrosis, Hay-Sac, sickle cell, Huntington's, one gene, maybe different mutations within that gene, but one disorder. That's not true anymore. You have to get rid of that idea of when you were took to high school biology that it was one gene, one disorder. We're not in that problem anymore though. So we said, okay, well maybe there's a different hypothesis of what causes genetic disorders. And the hypothesis is that each one of these small little variants add together in concert that if you have enough of them, you will get the disorder. So additive, many different ones. And if you didn't have quite enough, you wouldn't have the disorder. Another possible hypothesis is, again, a common disease, but now a rare variant. Something rare in the, that maybe more, uh, only a few families maybe have that variant in that gene, okay? But if you got that mutation, that variant, you're probably gonna get the disorder, okay? It's different than that little additive part. You, got this, you have this really bad hit, you're gonna probably get the disorder. And we're talking about in utero, because this is a neurodevelopmental, neuropsychiatric disorder that it's all occurring in utero. How the neurons are finding each other. 